All right, we are underway with this stand-up-only fight as we remind you of the rule set here. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Fighters also cannot do any follow-up strikes on the floor. May the best man win, and we are underway. Oh, this is big. Oh, they're trading huge shots here. We'll see who's the last man standing. He threw that one with all of his power. him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Diaz. You can't bounce around with him. You gotta get it, get in his face and try to take the fight to him. Hook shot lands. So one minute into this fight, and as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy. Back and forth with some full-on brawl piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, big hook. That'll stink. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Lands a jab. Nice body kick there. Again, that body kick, that body kick is going to really take effect on him. And it won't take very long. So just over 20 total strikes have found the mark for Conor McGregor. Well, the right hand has been there at times, not that time. He turned his entire body into that uppercut, and it landed exactly as he was hoping for. All right, so an opportunity goes by the boards. He had him stunned, nearly finished, and now his opponent has recovered. Now he's got to deal with everything that he's going to bring at him. as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Lands the left punch, now followed by a right. Well, MMA is a constant exercise in risk mitigation, right? But it would seem to me that if he really goes for it offensively, you can get him out of there. Well, he's got him hurt. He's got him hurt. He's got him hurt multiple times in one round. It looks like this fight should be over by now, but... His opponent's still standing, and I think that speaks to the durability of the guy standing in front. McGregor's no doubt. Oh, how about the end of that round? He got knocked down just before the horn, saved by the belt. So now back to the stool. He has only 60 seconds to recover. All right, so there's the horn signifying. And just like that, here we go with round two. Nate Diaz versus Conor McGregor. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do. Oh, nice strike landed there by Connor. He's trying to establish that jab once again. Well, I think I can. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it the, the blood, the injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are so tough, they really have laid it on the line. All right, so the ref is going to step in here and call on the doctor to look at what is a now mangled nose. This could be the end of the fight. It could be the end of the fight. There's a lot of blood. The blood's going down into the mouth. I mean, the nose could be broken. All right, looks as though the fight is going to continue. The referee checking on the athlete one more time. A bit surprising. I didn't know if they would let this guy continue, but here we go. You ready to fight? 
Ready. Push. Two minutes of Come on. Come on. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the ladder. Oh, what a connection right up the gut. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. So here we go with this stand-up only fight. You guys gotta play by the rules. No grappling or wrestling of any type. Also, you cannot do follow-up strikes on the floor. Let's see who the last man standing will be tonight. Ooh, he didn't see that one coming. Beautiful combination up top. Diaz gets caught by that straight punch. His defense has abandoned him tonight. Oh, big stick up top. That's another one. Another right hand gets through. You know what's crazy? It was like in MMA back in the day, guys just jabbing them. It was all power shots. Now you see guys well more educated with that jab and that in. Back and forth we go. Fast pace here in the early going. Block that one. Getting the hands going here early. This striker has come out swinging early, and you know his style is based on aggression, and largely it's worked out for him tonight. It's worked out phenomenal. He's fighting, he's fighting exactly as he needs to if he wants to win this fight. So just... Oh, oh man, huge strike lands, and now he's going to tell him about it, too. I'm no lip reader, but that was not nice. Not nice. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of... Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he was trying to face down that good. Uppercut is true. to be cut, perhaps, there on the bridge. Well, at this point, DC, I'm not sure if he's just biding his time or just trying to get some extra reps, but go first. It seems like the guy's playing with his food. You know, he's having a good time out there. Everything's working. He's in the zone. It feels like at any moment he can end the night of his opponent. But he seems to be having fun. And, hey, to each his own, I guess, I'd be rushing out of that option. Yeah, you don't play with him. McGregor's nose is just pouring. He got hurt again. Oh, he gets back up, but barely. Look how wobbly he is. Oh! Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Oh! 